Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I want to take a moment to explain how to join a Google Hangouts on Air as a participant. Now keep in mind, anyone, if it's a public event, anyone can go to the Google Plus page, the live event page, which in today's world is what I prefer, or they can go to your YouTube channel and go to the video when the event's live and uh, comment and view in real time. But if you're actually a presenter, if you're someone that will be face on video with, with audio and video, then you'll need to follow these steps to connect. So uh, what I do, and this is just kind of a tidbit of, uh, of additional knowledge here, and you see me looking over there, I've got three monitors set up here. Uh, but when an event starts, as you can see here, this event, and I created this one just as a test uh, to illustrate how to do this, but this event is not yet live. So a good host, if you're joining an event, they'll typically open it 20 minutes or so early, and then you'll be able to see everyone else within this event, but it won't be broadcast live to the internet. And that provides everyone with an opportunity to, to adjust their, uh, their cameras, their microphone volume, etc. And that's something we'll address in a few more minutes. The first thing you'll want to do, and you'll see here where mine says Irix Guys Adventure Channel, IrixGuy.com, that is a plug-in. So if you haven't launched Hangouts on Air as a presenter yet, what you'll do when you join your first, if you host your first uh, uh, Hangouts on Air, and that, that may be what you want to do to go ahead and, and launch, and you won't be dependent upon anybody else. So you can go into Google Plus, you can go into, uh, once you're in Google Plus, you can go to Hangouts, and you can do Start Hangout Now. And that's exactly what I did with this. I started a Hangout Now. I'm not live. I'm just using this to configure and test. So that may be what you want to do before you join someone else's Hangout on Air. <clears throat> that way you're not dependent upon their time to tweak your configuration. It can be somewhat tweaked and then when you dial into theirs, or I say dial in because I'm an old school internet guy, uh, when you connect to theirs uh, you will then be somewhat ready to go. Sure, still good to get in early, make sure your microphone or camera didn't do something funky or the lighting mess up. But uh, uh, so you could you could launch your own Hangout on Air just like I did to install the Hangout toolbox, which you see mine's already on there. But if you don't have it, what you can do is go to these three dots here. And and keep in mind, when you scroll to the right, that may disappear. So just kind of scroll your mouse over to the left, get to those three dots. They'll be under all these other icons. Click on the three dots and and then select Add Apps. And you'll see it right here. It says Hangout Toolbox. If it doesn't appear, there used to be a search option, so you can probably uh, you can probably search for it and install it. But there's a lot of add-ons you can add here. But this is this is the one I would recommend that you uh, uh, that you install is Hangouts Toolbox. So simply click Install. Uh, once it's installed. What you can do is go to your uh, to your bar over here, and you'll see this little. You know, it looks like a toolbox, and you can click on that. And I actually I already had it clicked, and it'll bring open your uh, Hangout Toolbox configuration. So starting from from left to right, the lower third, you can type in whatever. So you want to brand yourself. Uh, maybe you just want to use your real name. Maybe you want to use your profession. Uh, maybe you want to use your channel name and your YouTube channel name or channel URL you can do pretty much whatever you want to uh, obviously following Google's guidelines that they may have but I just use Irix Guys Adventure Channel and then I put irixguy.com which is the official Irix Guys Adventure Channel website uh, something else you'll notice right here is this little icon and you notice when I clicked it it made everything backwards so you want to make sure that when you see yourself and this right here that when you're when you see me in there that's a video preview so you want to make sure that the orientation of that is correct. If it's not, just click that. Uh, the, the logo, I defaulted to my YouTube channel logo, which I thought was already neat. And then obviously you would need to toggle this because if you toggle off, you're not going to see your lower third. It's got to be on. So it's on now. And let's see, what else in here? You can uh, you could add a custom, a custom lower third if you wanted to. It's actually something I'll probably play around in the, with in the future, but I mean, I this free one that came with it, I, I think it looks really nice. 
going to your next page, you can go to, uh, oh, and what I would recommend is saving your presets. So I save this as IRIX, guys, you can see there. That way when I launch Hangouts on Air, I've got, uh, it automatically is, is saved, so I don't want to type it in every time. There's volume control settings. I've never messed with that. Comment tracker. I have not messed with that. But something you may want to mess with is this gear icon here. And what I do, because I've there's been several hangouts that I've attended, and I failed to load my lower third. So I like to keep enable auto load on. And then I also uh, I like to keep auto load last use lower on. Now, if you've got a lot of them, and there may be a potential conflict of interest among the various uh, among the various lower thirds, you may not want to toggle that to own. So that's this is all personal preference, but that's it at a high level. That's Google's uh, uh, Hangout toolbox. So that's how you get your lower third. Some other things you want to be familiar with, if you uh, and in my case, assuming this was a live event now where I would be inviting participants. What I would do is click this, and then I would uh, I would type in names, and that would enable. Uh, and it says up to ten people total. So these are people that would actually join the event. So when I host my first live event, if you're one of the participants that that will be on with video and audio, then what'll happen uh, 30 minutes or so prior to the to the start of the live broadcast. I'll type in your names here, and then within your, after I do that, within your uh, YouTube interface, you know, towards the top right where it's got the bell icon, and it adds a number each time you get a notification, you'll receive a notification there, and that notification will enable you to link to a link that'll put you into the live show. Now, obviously, it won't be live until the broadcast is start, but just like I'm here now before broadcasting live, you can be here too and adjusting your microphone levels, etc., checking your lighting. Uh, another feature as we continue here is a smooth. I'm in smooth right now. I could go to enhanced and you'll see how I change. I can go to focus, I can go to brighten, spotlight, warm, smooth, which is what I was on originally, black and white, and then just original, so no filters applied. So you can see here I had a little shaving uh, snafu, so when I put it on smooth, you don't notice that. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, looking at the top here, something that, uh, that you may not realize if you're new to Hangouts on Air, and that's perfectly fine because a lot of people are, um, if you are not speaking, what I would encourage you to do is hit mute right here, and it'll turn red there. And also on your app, on your video on the, on the bottom, it will uh, <clears throat> it'll show a mute icon, which muted icon rather, which that's nice because when other people are talking, often what will happen, you'll get what's referred to as feedback. So the microphone, even when you're not speaking, is picking up the people that are also part of the hangout that are speaking, and it'll make uh, it'll make really. Uh, disruptive audio for the listeners and, and it'll often cause people to uh, to discontinue watching. So when you're not speaking, I recommend muting your microphone. Now if you've got all your audio, your speakers, maybe you're wearing a uh, an earpiece to listen to everybody else, then it there's a good possibility your microphone wouldn't even pick up the, uh, the other parties and create what's known as feedback. So again, another reason to join a uh, Hangouts on Air, I would say 30, 20 minutes 20, 30 minutes or so before going live just to make sure everybody's synced up and there's, you know, the audio and video is perfect. Uh, the next thing you can do if you had to step away or, you know, some sort of distraction occurred, you can push this and it'll turn your camera off. Because keep in mind, these Hangouts on Air are live. Many of the Hangouts on Air integrate a 30-second uh, a or so broadcast delay. But still, you, you want to be aware. Now, and my best advice for Hangouts on Air, if you're joining a Hangouts on Air, try to be in a place at your, you know, at your home or wherever where you can, where you can close the door and, and uh, completely eliminate the possibility of, of anything you wouldn't want to be broadcast live from, from being captured. 
Adjust bandwidth usage. You can, uh, I've never messed with that. I just keep it on auto. The settings, this right here is important. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using my FaceTime HD camera that's built in. I'm, I'm posting, I'm creating this rather from a uh, uh, late 2013 model iMac computer. So this is the Apple iMac built-in camera. I'm using the default audio, so the audio right now is being captured by the uh, by the built-in iMac microphone. And then for the speakers, if other people were on this call right now and speaking, they would be it would be audible through the built-in iMac speakers. Now, when I'm doing a live show, I use a uh, what's referred to as a Blackmagic Intensity Extreme, and I connect it to an XA10 because that green screen back there. It's what I use to create my virtual sets, etc. So my configuration may be different. And likewise with you, if, you're, if you've got a uh, camera connected by way of HDMI port, etc., uh, you may not be using the built-in. So, you know, be aware of what you've got in your computer or what you've got connected to your computer and from both a uh, video and an audio perspective. It may be that the defaults are exactly what you intend to use. Now, this one right here is leave call. So if you needed to leave a live broadcast, you could do that, and it would disconnect you. So this, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to post this not just for people that are uh, going to be attending my upcoming live shows, but I wanted to post it to assist anyone. So feel free to share this video. Send it to your friends that are joining your Hangouts on Air, and hopefully these steps will help to... Uh, to better and better enhance their first time experience because I will tell you Hangouts on Air is an awesome tool but the first time I used it it was uh, it was it was quite daunting and and I've got a I've got a background of of over 30 years in the uh, in the IT industry so that's it hope this helped and uh, please share this video with others subscribe if you haven't already you can see it right there and and that's the other thing when you're pointing and uh, in a live broadcast, it's kind of funny. You can see it right there, irixguy.com. You can go there and get to youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.